Adventures in iSTEM and beyond, where science, technology, engineering, math, inquiry, and skills for success all come together in one place. Adventures in iSTEM and beyond. Photosynthesis and Cellular Respiration Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is a process where plants take in carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O, and with help from energy from the sun, create a form of sugar called glucose, C6, H12, O6, and oxygen, O2. It occurs in the chloroplasts of plant cells. The cells that create the green leaves of plants are filled with lots of chloroplasts. To make photosynthesis happen, the cell needs a few materials. Water moves up through the roots of the plants and find its way into the cells that create the leaves. Carbon dioxide gas in the air goes through small openings in the leaf to find its way into the cell. Now that carbon dioxide and water are in the cell, the magic can happen. They enter the chloroplast and with help from the radiant energy from the sun, a chemical change occurs. The atoms that create water and carbon dioxide reform and create glucose and oxygen. The glucose remains in the cell, but some of the oxygen leaves the cell through openings in the leaves and joins the air. Cellular respiration. Cellular respiration, a process where plants or animals take in glucose, C6, H12, O6, and oxygen, O2, and create energy in the form of ATP, carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O. It occurs in the mitochondria of plant and animal cells. To make cellular respiration happen, the cell needs a few chemicals. Plant cells create glucose through photosynthesis, while animal cells get their glucose when animals eat plants and then it travels into the cell. Plant cells also create oxygen through photosynthesis, while animal cells get their oxygen by breathing it in and having it travel to the cells. Glucose and oxygen mix together inside the mitochondria of the cell and a chemical change occurs. The atoms rearrange, creating carbon dioxide and water. This reaction creates a lot of ATP energy. In animal cells, some of the water stays, but some of it leaves the cell along with the carbon dioxide. 
In plant cells, some of the water and carbon dioxide stays to be used, but some of it does leave the cell. Let's review. For photosynthesis, water travels up the roots and makes its way to the leaves and into the cells. Carbon dioxide from the outside enters the leaves and makes its way into the cells. Then both water and carbon dioxide meet in the chloroplast and with the help of the sun's energy a chemical reaction occurs and it converts that water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. Now for cellular respiration that plant is going to use this glucose and this oxygen. However, animal cells, they need to breathe in the oxygen that does leave the cell. And that then enters the animal cells. They need to eat the plant so that they can get the glucose and have it travel into the cell. For cellular respiration, both the glucose and the oxygen cells make their way to the mitochondria. When in the mitochondria, a chemical reaction occurs. And that glucose and oxygen cells rearrange and form carbon dioxide and water again. All of this creates a lot of TP, ATP and this ATP is what's used to run the cell and then the whole process repeats again as one big cycle. The carbon dioxide and water from the animal cell and also from the plant cell again mixed together in the chloroplast And with the help of the energy from the sun, they create glucose and oxygen. And that glucose and oxygen stay in the plant cell, and some of it does leave so that the animal cells can breathe in the oxygen. And the animals eat the plants for the glucose. They make their way to the mitochondria. And a chemical reaction occurs again. Creating carbon dioxide and water. And again, lots of ATP. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. Adventures in iSTEM, where science, technology, engineering, math, inquiry, and skills for success in life all come together in one place. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.